This is code.org, CS Discoveries, or Computer Science Discoveries. I'm working on Unit 2, which is the Web Development Unit. And then I'm currently on Lesson 10, Styling Text with CSS. I'm on Part 13 of that, Styling Your Website. Adding a Style Sheet. This is your project from before. In the next level, you'll have a chance to add some different styles to it. Ooh. But first, you need to... But first, you need to add a style sheet name a style sheet, name it, and link it to your ooh, HTML page. So this is really important to know how to do. Create a new style sheet for your project. Rename the style sheet file. Add your style sheet to your HTML page. Okay. So, one, add, does it explain that? Nope. Oh, this is create, okay, add. I'm gonna click on that, add CSS. Did it add it? Yep, and it named it this. Rename it. Okay, and to rename something, you gotta right click. If you're on a Chromebook or a laptop, to right click, you click down with two fingers separated at the same time on the trackpad. So I'm gonna rename this. I'm, I'm just gonna call mine style. I guess I'm boring. Boom, rename. Add your style sheet to your, okay, how do we add it? Oh, it shows us. Okay, so it has to be exactly, exactly, exactly like this. Like all things code, it has to be perfect. So I want it to work on my index page. So I'm gonna put it here. It needs to go in between the head and the closing head tag. All right, so we're using that for something. I'm gonna put the less than sign and then I'm gonna write link space R E L equals quotes. This is, has to be style sheet. This isn't something you choose. You always put style sheet there for CSS. It's telling it that it's a style sheet. It's a CSS sheet. And then H R E F or herf quotes. And I just named my CSS file style with no caps. Whatever you named yours, you need to type that in perfectly exactly. I'm going to click this to make sure this will work correctly. And then I'm going to close it with a tag. It's not going to pop up anything here, really, but that uh, we will be able to see on the next page if we have done it correctly. So great. Let's go ahead and move forward.